Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the week of December 27th. Uh, we're going to jump right in here, Leo, and we are going to see what is going on for you uh, for this week. Uh, also, I'm going to do a part two for these readings, and there will be a link for that down below. And uh, if it's not live, it will be live later. But uh, part two is just going to be like a bonus uh, midweek follow-up for this reading. So make sure to check that out after watching this reading. But uh, let's see here. You start off with the Ace of Wands here. So passionate new beginning coming in for you. This is your current general energies in this position. I forgot to pull an outcome for you here, Leo. But I feel there is a new beginning coming in for you. I don't know, pretty much every single sign has had something about a new beginning. It's the beginning of the year, obviously, and, you know, Happy New Year, <laughs> but you could be starting something new, right? Uh, very inspirational as well. I'm wondering, like, there's some sort of boost coming in here. I don't realize this stuff until the end of all my readings. You're, you're the second to last sign that I'm doing for this week. Uh, sometimes I go backwards and, you know, I, I mix it up, but uh, I pretty much stick to the same schedule. And, you know, usually by you in Sagittarius, I, I kind of like realize what's going on energetically. I kind of realize what uh, co the collective energy is. But I feel like something must be going up. There's something inspirational happening at like the beginning of the year. It might not actually be this week. I'm getting the fifth for some reason. I don't trust psychic timing at all. To me, the universe doesn't wear a watch. And so, you know, for the most part, any psychic that claims they can tell when something happens, are there some that can do it? Sure. But, um, you know, for the most part, I don't trust it. And uh, what I would say here, though, is that it could be like next week or something where there's like an inspirational moment that leads to a change in your life here, Sagittarius, or for you, Leo, sorry. Uh, next, for your crossing energy, you have the star. It's like you have this idea with the ace of wands of maybe what you want to do in your life or uh you know it could also be a relationship because in this diagonal we have the page of cups it's like the ace of wands is the wouldn't it be nice if i had this over here this page of cups which is like your you know the page of cups could be your ultimate admirer the like the perfect type of person for you the problem is that ten of swords what i would say is that the good news is that ten of swords is coming up in your past position and so you know it kind of looks to me like you're moving past that energy but i do feel what is missing is the, kind of like the hope the 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 trusting in the universe so maybe like a little bit of faith in uh, life a little, you know, kind of having a little bit more faith in uh, the fact that you can create your own reality or that you can attract love or that you can have money, whatever it is that you want in your life. I feel like having a little bit more faith would be a good idea. The star reminds us that if something is possible for one person, it's possible for you. So it doesn't matter what it is that you want to create. If you want to create something and someone has done it, then it's possible for you. Even I, I think that even if it, no one's done something, it's possible for you. But, uh, you know, she's pouring water onto the land that pool is a pool of universal consciousness and she's pouring water onto the earth. And that's what represents, you know, you being able to accomplish something because someone else has. There's also that bird, you know, this ibis in the tree back here as well, Leo. That bird kind of represents seeing the whole picture, seeing everything that's going on in your life. You also have the high priestess as well. And we're going to talk about this in a minute when we get to the high priestess. But the high priestess represents seeing the beginning, middle, and end. She sees the whole picture, right? So there's kind of like a need here for you to like zoom out. I'm pretty sure I said this to you in a recent reading. Maybe I think it was you where it's like I feel like you have to zoom out uh, uh, from, you know, maybe you're too close to an issue or problems in your life. Next in the area of your thoughts, uh, too much stinking thinking here, Leo. Four of Cups is a card of apathy and contemplation. He's manifesting those cups in front of him, but he isn't accepting those cups. He's not reaching out and grabbing those cups. I, like, I, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. And I'm not going to say like, oh, your life has been perfect, Leo, right? I, I think that there's a reason that you feel this way. It's like you've maybe you've tried to manifest love in your life in the past and every single time it ends the same way. Maybe you've tried to manifest money and every single time it ends the same way. Maybe you've tried to have a business and every single time it ends the same way. And so it's kind of like, I call this um, spiritual PTSD because it's like, sometimes I think, we reach a certain point where we've tried and tried and tried and tried. The universe is like, keep going, keep keep trying. And you're just like, no, I'm sick and tired of trying. <laughs> so uh, I don't really have any good advice here other than try again. And you just have to uh, try again. I think the hardest part here is the fact that like, you know, I'll just tell you this. 
years ago when I was younger, I had a very successful business. I and I just uh, I always say the business failed. It didn't really fail. I just quit because I don't know my heart wasn't in it, right? And it just didn't feel right, so I stopped doing it. And um, there was nothing wrong with the business. It wasn't illegal or anything like that. It just my heart wasn't in it, right? So I stopped doing it. And I was like literally making no money for like three years. And I just sat around and did nothing, um, which isn't true. Actually, I tried multiple other businesses after that, like a ton, but none, like none of them would work. And I got to this point where, um, where I started overthinking things where like normally I've always been that type of person. I just jump right in. I just try anything. Right. Uh, but I got to a point after like a a billion failures where I started like questioning things. I started not trying things and I started overthinking things. I would come up with an idea for like another business idea or something. And, but then I would start thinking of all the things that would be wrong with it. Right. And it wasn't until I kind of just said, you know what, I don't care. I will be wrong as many times as it takes. It wasn't until I got to that point, which is, you know, four cups is before that. And then after that, here in the area of your foundation, you have the magician. This is kind of like reaching that point where you're just like, you know what, I don't care. I'm just going to keep trying. I know that what I want exists. He has these flowers out in front of him here, Leo. And those flowers kind of represent his focus. They say that if you want to attract something nice into your life, you have to focus on joy, happiness, and nice things, right? We have to be grateful for like the flowers, for the little things. And when we can do that, we can manifest anything. You know, our words are, become real with the magician. So I feel you have to start uh, kind of doing that. But I also feel that you're kind of at this point where, where you're like, you know what? I'm just going to I'm just going to create whatever I want and I'm just going to keep trying until something works. <laughs> so that's what I'm getting here. Uh, in your past energy, this is the energy that you are moving past. You have the 10 of swords. A uh, 10 of swords is like feeling like a victim. So that's nice. I think this is a this is definitely a good thing that this is showing up in your past. 10 of swords in the past is or the passing position is also good for you kind of being willing to have a new beginning. The 10 of swords is like you know, he's still laying there. So I think in the past, maybe you stayed stuck, but it's like now you're setting yourself free with the Ten of Swords. So love it. Uh, next in the area of your near future, you have the Five of Wands. Uh, five of Wands can be a card of conflict and competition, but I always say to me, the Five of Wands, these people, they're learning. They are using sticks to fight. They're not using swords. So it's like they're not killing each other. They're not they're not hurting each other, right? They're just like, they're, they are learning how to fight on this card. Uh, so I feel for a lot of you, you know, I call this card Indiana Jones. To me, it's a card of going on some sort of crazy adventure to find some treasure. And I feel like that's what you are doing. I feel like you are setting out on a uh, adventure to find treasure with the Five of Wands. I also feel, you know, the Five of Wands, I feel is saying like, focus on your own stuff. <laughs> I, I, I definitely feel this with the star and the Five of Wands. You know, I always say that it doesn't matter how much competition there is. Number one, we should be thinking abundance in the first place because if we think abundance, we attract abundance. It doesn't matter how much competition there is, right? There's more than enough for everyone. We live in a, you know, infinite, uh, we come from infinite source intelligence. If you believe that, then, you know, we can manifest as much abundance as you can possibly imagine. It's endless, right? Uh, so when you have that mindset, it's a very good mindset to have. Number Number two, the star card says, it doesn't matter if there were a billion people doing the same exact thing that you want to do. The star says, if something is your destiny, if something is for you, it's for you. It doesn't matter how much competition there is. I always say there there will always be like another big YouTuber, for example, right? There are about six bajillion people on YouTube, right? But there will always be someone who reaches millions and millions and millions of sub subscribers, right? They, there will always be someone who grows bigger than everyone else because it's for them because they're meant to. <laughs> and so I feel like you need to realize that, that if you have this, like, I, like I feel this burning desire here, Leo, inside of you. It's like you, you want to accomplish something. I feel like that burning desire is the universe saying like, hey, this is for you. Wake up, go start doing this. It doesn't matter how much competition there is. I don't know, somebody needs to hear that. Uh, next in the area of your uh, next few months, you have the uh, uh, high priestess. I'm at a loss for words today, Leo. But the high priestess is a card of trusting your intuition. Like I was saying earlier, she has these three phases of the moon as the crown that is on her head. And the three phases of the moon represents being able to see the, you know, past, present, and future, being able to see the big picture, being able to see everything. You know, she can see everything. She's also sitting in the direct middle of the card. To me, she represents kind of like neutral thinking. She doesn't think 
oh, like things are super, super bad. She also doesn't think things are super, super good. She's kind of like sitting in the middle. She takes a more balanced, um, you know, she has a more balanced perspective when it comes to all things in life. She realizes that things usually are not at the extremes. Things are usually in the middle. And uh, this allows her, that's what allows her not only to use her intuition, but allows her to be successful. So I feel that for some of you. This, this card also says the sky's limit. Uh, well, actually, there is no limit. There's no roof over her head. And th that kind of represents the fact that she's able to create, you know, things beyond her wildest dreams, but she needs to do the work. She does just only represent potential. I feel like I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure you get the high priestess a lot, um, Leo. So I think it would be a good time for you to dream big and for you to think of, you know, kind of like more. Uh, next in the area of your closest re relationships, you have the hangman. I do feel a lot of you, mm, you know, the hangman is about making a sacrifice. He's hanging from the tree of knowledge as well. And he's sacrificing the use of his arms and his legs so that he can gain some wisdom. I kind of do see you, like, in not just, like, I think all relationships, you're just kind of, like, taking more of that backseat approach, but in a good way. I feel that you are kind of becoming more of an observer with the people around you. And it's like you're becoming more of a listener. Uh, Hangman doesn't really have to do with listening, but... It is popping into my head. Uh, I think this is a good thing because it's going to allow you, it's like you're preparing for something. Pretty interesting. I'm actually going to clarify that right now. <laughs> uh, well, you have this queen of wands uh, that didn't want to come off the table, but I, I just want to quickly ask, what is Leo preparing for? Can we know? Uh, well, a new beginning. This could be love as well, by the way. So you could be, um, you know, I would say if you have your uh, eye on a specific person, this could be you kind of developing the relationship and that's what you're preparing for. For others, I feel like you're just preparing for a new beginning. Uh, pretty power. I feel very good about that for some reason. So I like that. Uh, next in the area of your future feelings, you have the page of cups. Again, if uh, for some of you, I do feel there could be love coming in for you. Could, it could be any sign. You have Aquarius here, Pisces, uh, Earth. Uh, you always get Earth in your readings as well. Uh, it could be uh, Sagittarius. Could be any sign. But I do feel there could be love coming in for you. I also feel you're feeling very imaginative as well. The Page of Cups is a card of imagination. He's imagining that fish that is in that cup. That fish might not exist. Uh, maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. We don't know. <laughs> He's got to grab onto that fish, whatever it is. It could be his wildest dreams. It could be something that he wants to manifest. But this is super powerful reading here, Leo. And uh, finally, your outcome you have the temperance card. I feel like you've been very, you have been very patient to manifest your dreams. I feel like you have been very patient to manifest your bigger desires, but it's like things are happening. I really feel things are happening with this card. Uh, we are going to pull one more Oracle card from this deck here, the Wisdom of the Oracle. And you have this card, Serendipity. I love this card. This is my favorite card in this deck. It's like a card of luck. You can see that she's being lifted up by a four-leaf clover here, Leo. So I feel like there are, there is a lot of luck coming in for you with this serendipity card. I feel like there's a lot of abundance coming in for you as well. I also feel kind of like you're at that place where things are falling into place more. There, There's more green lights than there are red lights. That, Those are the words that are popping into my head. More green lights than red lights with that serendipity card. So it's like you try to do something. I feel it doesn't, that's not saying that there won't be obstacles. There will always be obstacles. There will always be things that you have to overcome. But I just think it's more green than red. It's like you might have an obstacle, but it's not like obstacle, obstacle, obstacle. It's like green light, green light, obstacle, green light, green light, green light, green light, obstacle, something like that. And this goes for, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to create. So I like where this is going. So thank you for being here, Leo. Really appreciate it. Make sure to check out part two linked up down below. Uh, also make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.